Hey guys, what's up? It's Pizza Living Nerd here. Today I will be doing my review on Zubuntu. Now let's start with the fact that it just works. Um, so, um, I've been using this for a week and, I, and I've only had one program crash on this. Um, well actually two if you count Gmod when I loaded a bunch of um, mods and made the game crash, but that doesn't really count. The only really crash that just randomly happened was the task manager like an hour ago <laughs> but um i've only been uh using this i've been using this distro for a week and that's the only thing that's crashed um so anyways uh not not only does this just work and it doesn't crash but this is also a very light distro i'm recording and i'm listening to music and um, for YouTube, and I have less than 40% CPU usage, and only around 8% memory usage. This is really good, because on Ubuntu, um, with GNOME, um, my CPU usage was almost always at 80%, and I couldn't, I could barely game on this. Speaking of gaming, this is the only distro that can run games just as fast as Windows can. This in Ubuntu Studio. I forgot to mention that in the Ubuntu Studio review. So, this runs games very, very well. Because um, normally on Windows, I can get up to 300 FPS on CSGO. But on um, on normal, on Linux, Mint, Arch, and Solus, and um, Ubuntu Budgie, I can only get around 150 FPS. But on this distro, I was getting 250 FPS on CSGO, which means that uh, this distro is the close is the only distro that c even comes close to how Windows how good win Windows runs games. Um, Windows probably runs games well because of good DirectX integration, while um, while uh, Linux doesn't have as much doesn't have DirectX so. It doesn't in in integrate with the system as well, I think. I think that's what it is, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but I think this one, this distro is just light, so it was able to allocate more CPU to my game. That's assuming what happens, what happened to make my FPS so high. But I'm not 100% sure. Um, another thing is programs open very fast. Firefox, right when my computer boots, normally it takes like 5 or 10 seconds for Firefox to open when I first boot up my computer. This distro can only open up, or opens it up in only 3 seconds, which is really fast. Another thing I like about this distro is despite the fact that it's light, it doesn't lack features. So like Lubuntu, for example, it, it lacks a feature as simple as window snapping. So I can't snap windows like this. Um, but this, um, this has modern features such as that and a actual menu that is easy to navigate. Um, the one on Lubuntu sucks. Yeah, it has a search bar now, but I still prefer this menu. Um, uh, it, it happens to have these features while only using around probably, probably 5% more CPU usage than Lubuntu. So I think this is the best um, distro for older computers now, especially because it still supports 32-bit systems. Um, a feature that, I ha that I've that i heard, not confirmed, just a rumor, that 19.04 um, of Lubuntu won't have 32-bit support. And I'm assuming this will be the same, but still, um, both this and Lubuntu currently have 32-bit support. Um, now another feature is that despite the fact, how, despite how light it is, XFCE still has um, tons of customization ability. By default, it does lack. Um, by default, it does lack uh, a icon-only task manager. However, fortunately, there's Doc Bar X, which um, basically adds an icon-only task manager to XFCE. Um, so, yeah, you can use that. Um, I'm gonna put this song on because the other song sucks. But yeah, um, <coughs> so 
basically this distro is one of the best ubuntu's um i think this and ubuntu budgie are the best ubuntu's right now um and i think ubuntu gnome and is the worst and ubuntu kaiwen is also the worst it would be a lot better if it actually had proper language support but um i guess i guess uh since i was doing this in alphabetical order well i guess i did normal ubuntu first but with the flavors of ubuntu i was doing them in alphabetical order i guess i saved best for last doing this so the only comparable distro is ubuntu studio which is just this with a bunch of multimedia applications so yeah anyways thank you for watching this video and i'll see you in the next